Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to post process in the cloud using measure ground control. So basically you'll need to, I have a link on my website or on my desktop I should say. Um, there's just login. I like to sign in with my Google account. And this is And here you go, get in, and just get to this scene, hit skip. These are some of the previous projects that I have done, um, which is this one. You go right to processing a data set. You only get one choice because you're running three. And you block that, and you call this Fine. I'm not going to mess with any of that. I'm not going to mess with anything at. Any of that. Go next. And there's different ways to get your data in. I like to use this one. So I'll um, upload files. And my missions are here. It's the grass lake that I flew with the mini. And I put all my mapping files that I'm going to use in its own directory. So there's no video, there's no panoramas. This is all just what I want to use for mapping. And I'm going to hit Control A, make sure they're all selected. And then I'm going to hit Open. And it's going to start uploading those 70 some pictures. So I'll pause that and come back to the video when all the ones are uploaded. Okay, so all your files are then uploaded. These are 83. It took about um, nine, nine minutes for 83 images. And I have Verizon. You click on next, provide a name. total it shows me where I've taken them which is fine click on next you can add ground control points oh that's interesting okay I don't think um, for the free version you're not going to be able to do um, the ground control points so uh, you can click on select all, you can get your, or, or if you just want specific ones, but I just select all. Don't worry about anything else. Key points, full. Um, you can use that. So this is basically um, what Pix4D does. It uses the Pix4D engine. So you use that and then click next and say yep and then submit it. And you're all set. So you'll get an email from to the account that you logged in at when this is ready and we'll go to that when that's done but that's how to get started part one in using measure ground control to do image post processing in the cloud okay looking at my email I got didn't get an uh, email to my drone file drop account and this is what it said basically the Grass Lake Park is September 23 has been submitted at PIX4D and it'll be ready to view in approximately 55 minutes. If I go to my measure ground control to my missions, the current mission is the Grass Lake Park. I can see that it's currently processing. So 
It should take about an hour or so for 83 images, but it's all in the background and it will let me know um, when the data is ready. Okay, so I got an email that my project is complete. So let's look at it here. That's how it says complete. It took a little, a little less than an hour, I think. An hour. Um, there's a quality report that comes with it. Looks very much, it is a PIX4D quality report. So this was flown with a Mavic Mini using uh, Drone Harmony. So anyway, so the report's there. Let's take a look at what the project looks like. So I'm gonna go back into measure, ground control. Sign in with Google. There's my recent data product. says it's complete. So let's take a look at it. This is not Michigan in the background, but I think it'll get there. So there's my ortho mosaic and there's uh, let's see oh I can do a digital surface model digital terrain model there's some park structures some trees so those show up pretty well I can export or download the files that's how you do them here let's um, Download them. Let's see, we'll select all. And we'll select submit. Where to download them? I'll put them into where I took them. So, missions, Grass Lake. This will be a new folder. Post. Measure ground control. We'll put that in there. So, and you'll see, so you'll have all your downloads uh, basically in one place. Download multiple files will allow the LAS file. That's the point cloud. That's yes. The contours. You remember setting contours. Contour zip file will say yes. So this is the ortho mosaic it looks like. So we'll say save. Save. And there you can see all my files. One, two, three, four, five, six files. And it's going to take up to half an hour or so to download all these to my C drive. In the meantime, I believe, yes, we can, you can save this link and your project will come up um, if you share this link with you. So let's see here, you can look at shareable link. There you go. Um, you can copy that. Shared link is copied. You can go back to your email, email, and I'll just send it to, Send it to Matt. I'll say. So you can send that. Boom. There you and the person will get the link. Fix for share link uh, right right there. So that, that's kind of cool. Um, otherwise, that's how you part two for measured ground control and getting your files downloaded to your hard drive.
and also being able to share a file. Let's go back to the look at mosaic. There's things like measuring distances and such. Um, let me, I don't know if you can do volumes or so. You can change the opacity, whatever, image mask, things like that. So there's things you can do, um, but that's how you get your uh, information out. So now I'm just playing around. So good luck with uh, measure as an alternative to post-processing. Um, it's available to everybody, two projects a month.